what I'd like to see <coughs> is um, something implemented like it is in France where there's a certain amount of content that, that exhibitors and whether it be on television or film have to adhere to and they do do it on television but particularly in the cinema where you just put aside a certain percentage that has to be made to preserve Australian culture and then you can have the big American things in there but there's no kind of guidelines for that so as a filmmaker it's hard you walk around saying I want to make a low budget Australian film everyone rolls their eyes at you you know and particularly exhibitors in this country and even distributors um, it's just not commercially viable for them and, and, it, and it's, a, it's a business. So I think there needs to be some sort of government regulation where we just hold on to a little bit of it, you know, and I'm not, I'm not saying that we should, we should go forget about any other culture coming in because it's ridiculous, but I think we do need to put something in place that protects that. And not only, not only for the cultural aspect, but as a training ground for Australian filmmakers. That's, that's the other thing is that we, you, you get these great filmmakers in Australia that make one film and it takes them eight years to get another one up because it's too difficult and there's, there's not enough money. And, um, and that's wrong. It's, you know, if, to become a, great at anything, then you need, to, you need to practice your skills and people aren't getting enough practice here. And, and people always ask, why don't we have the great writers here? Why don't we have the great directors here? Um, because everyone goes overseas because there's no work here. <laughs>